Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. And who are you? A tavern wench. Hi. Why you're all such big men? I'll get to your order when I have time. See the button if you can't wait. Okay. It's locked. I await your word. Good to go. Hey. One, two, three, four, five. Fine. Yay. Potion of healing. Extra healing, actually. I like those. Who are you? Dwarf? And elves. It shall be. Something on your mind? We try being polite, but all those dwarves do is insult us. It's too bad Gromner's men locked up all the town's sewer gates. Crates. If the sewers were still open, the dwarves could shuffle around those stingy underground tunnels where they belong and leave us fair folk alone. You're quite arrogant. Something on your mind? Them three huggers really tangle my beard. I'd like to take them all and bury them somewhere they'd never be found. I heard there used to be some underground prison here that they've hoarded up for some reason. Maybe they could reopen that place and stash these elves in there. They are not too friendly either. Okay. Who are you? Pigram Elson. I trust all is well. Pigram Elson, at your service. I hope we have what you need. A stiff drink, perhaps? Dark time is called for dark ale, am I right, my lord? Hmm... Not too many friendly faces in this town, are there? Saradush was a nice place not too long ago. Then the ball spawn started showing up, Gromnir took over and now we're under siege. Can't blame folks if they've taken a dislike to strangers. Still, life and business go on. For a while. All a man can do is carry on and hope for the best. That's my philosophy. Anything else I can help you with? Is there a way to get out of this town or are we all trapped here? Do you think I'd still be here running my business if I knew a way out? Not even the mages can escape this place or so I've heard. Still, life and business go on. We already had that. What can you tell me about Gromnir Al Khan? Bah! I should spit in disgust every time I hear his name, but he's not worth the effort. Gromnir Al Khan's nothing but a bully. A cruel, cowardly little despot. It was bad enough around here with all these refugees showing up these fast few, past few months. But at least they didn't bother nobody. Gromnir's a different story. First his troops ran off Count Santili, then they started terrorizing the townsfolk. Next thing we know they're we are caught between a tyrant we hate and an army outside our walls that wants to kill us, all just to get at him. That's not so pleasant, I guess. Do you know anything about a woman in Melisan? Melisan? Wish I'd never heard her name. Nothing against her as a person, you understand. She's a fine woman, always looking to help out the less fortunate. But that's the problem, see? She brought these all spawn to Sertish to try and protect them, and now the whole town is doomed. Good intentions, bad results. Yeah, I know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So what do you have? Oh, he sends me to his bartender. <sighs> what, what, oh, those are the guys I killed. I get that. Well, who are you? Volo. Lowlands, Lowlands? Uh, yes, the, uh, a tab. Um, uh, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Uh -huh. That's not what's written here. Ah, I knew you would turn up here eventually. Volothamp Getter. I said to myself, rest assured, wherever history is being made, Haywitch Aploma and his companions are close at hand. Uh, we're supposed to know him? Volo, what are you doing here? Come now, surely you know that wherever history is being made, I, Volo, will be there to chronicle events. Ah, that rings a bell somewhere. I think we have encountered this guy before. But I can't quite remember. I think it was even in Baldur's Gate 1. 
You don't become the most famous historian on Pharaon without finding yourself right in the thick of things. I think he is the one who, like, wrote, you know, uh, the manual of Baldur's Gate 1 and then we met him somewhere in the game. Ah, so long ago I can't quite remember all the details. You don't become the most famous historian on Pharaon without finding yourself right in the thick of things. Of course, this time I'm a little closer than I normally like to get. But don't worry about me, I always find a way to get out of these tight situations. What can I do for you, Volo? Oh no, hey, which woman? The question is, what can I do for you? The answer, of course, is immortalize you and your companions in my historical records. Here's a little preview of what I've got so far. <coughs> Raised as a child in the cloistered confines of Candlekeep, Haywitch Oblomi emerged from these humble beginnings to become one of the most powerful mortals to ever set foot upon the face of Toril. Saving the city of Baldur's Gate, defeating the mad mage Johnny Renicus, preserving the Tree of Life, such heroic ac accomplishments are mere footnotes in the epic tale of Haywitch Oblomi, the greatest of the children of Wall. <coughs> That's just a small taste of my entry on your exploits. Of course, the ending is not yet complete. And this is still a first draft, but you get the idea, and that's not all. If you care to listen, I can give you a small preview of what I'm going to say about those people who have the glory of adventuring with you. Sure, let's see what you've got. Which of your companions would you like to hear about? Tell me about Ari. Those who knew Ari as the frightened little girl in the circus would be amazed at her transformation. Few beings in the history of the realms have become as powerful in both priestly and wizardly magics as this innocent elf. Oh, I don't think I deserve all of that. There are so many opponents we face who seem to have more power than us, no matter how much we all grow. But it does sound nice. Tell me about Imoen. From an anonymous childhood in the monastery of at Candlekeep, Imran stepped forth, a young woman with the blood of an immortal in her veins and the power of an archmage at her command. Awesome. Jahira. Jahira combines the talents of her warrior training and her druid beliefs, making her one of the most powerful guardians of the balance to ever walk the world. Well, at least the balance was mentioned. <laughs> So long as your tail does not turn into some tawdry bundle of lies existing solely to titillate t -t 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 the common reader, perhaps your relation of Haver Chablomi's tale will have some merit, Volo. Tawdry? My dear Miss Jahira, I have never once been the slightest bit tawdry with my lies, I assure you. <laughs> hmm. Not even an attempt to feign honesty, is it? No wonder Elminster speaks so highly of you. <laughs> I shall have to see <laughs> I shall have to see this work of yours once it's done. I so wonder if Havage Blomi will even be recognizable. Believe me, my dear, in the case of Havage Blomi here, exaggeration is not exactly a requirement for an exciting tale. It will be all I can do to convince my readers that I tell the truth, I would wager. Um okay, what about Keldon? The most powerful and revered member of the Order of the Radiant Heart to walk Faron, Keldon is a veteran warrior whose deeds for the good of all men shall be remembered long after he has passed. No man, no one man could serve Torm with greater dedication. I understand a statue is already being erected in his honor in Athkatla. And finally, Minsk. With a thundering bellow and a mighty sword, Minsk and his faithful Hamster companion Boo have worked their way into the lexicon of the Faroonian vocabulary as true heroes. Evil, beware. Oh, Boo is going to mention you in his book. Isn't he a nice man? Oh no, Boo, he is going to mention you in his book. Isn't he a nice man? Okay. Thank you, Avicha me. I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to meet you while you are in the middle of an adventure that will change the shape of the realms. Truly, I only hope I can do your tale justice. Oh, that's, that's so nice. I mean, to hear him say all these nice things about the party companions, that's awesome. I like that a lot. Ah, M.O.N. 
Right you are. Cute little ass in here. Ah, trapped. How very unpleasant. Disarmed. Block picked. Stuff taken. Yeah, that's that's where the game really shines. The characters. I mean, I don't like them when they shout out all the time. I mean, Arius is cute with her. Faster than she take a fast pass. Consider it done. But Minsk gets annoying a little. And Jahira with her constant pitching. We have to maintain balance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we can get rid of that here. If we have one of those. On my honor. And we can rest I will now. do my best. Yeah. Um what's the yeah, I can no, I, no not cancel. I can afford to that. What time is it now? Four o'clock? No everybody please. Are you looking for a good time? We shall see. Let's save. Those probably are those vampires that that guy mentioned that got scared and ran away. Something on your mind? Wait, that's a that's a guy. I'm sorry. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. No, they're not. They're the latest fashion. You look like a mighty fine piece of man meat. Why don't we slip away alone? I promise a night you'll remember for the rest of your life. Only 50 gold coins. 50? That's outrageous. I'll give you 20. Normally I won't work for less than 50, but for you I'll make an exception. Come with me. I know a place where we can be alone. It's not far. I hope the party comes along. I don't want to fight. Oh shit, I'm alone. We've arrived. This should be enjoyable. Good, so the madman was right after all. Silence. The blood of Baal's children is an act that we will risk much to claim. Overwhelm, my brethren. Um, sorry, where's the rest of the party? Where am I? Map? Um, gotta be kidding me. I thought the party would come too. Oh, fuck it. Um, Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is bad. Um You're attacking, right? I shall uh, uh, I require assistance I with my needs. That's a stupid thing. Okay, maybe you do it. I, as you wish. Something on your mind? Oh, sorry, that was the guy. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. I shall do everything in my power to keep this oh. group safe and on the path of right. I will strive to lead responsibly. Oh, fuck. Okay.
Um. Great. That's not a good thing for a mage. Proved mantle. Okay, we're getting things done now, I guess. Black Blade of Disaster. Okay. And now, last but not least, the Tensor's Transformation. This will be fun. It shall be. Can the mage do it? Attack. I shall not yield to you. Okay, this one is done. I shall not yield to you. And her, uh, the last one. Okay. He's down to level 19. Where am I? Locked. To battle and victory! This is annoying. Oh, where am I? There's a 
Tour hier. Okay. Schön. Das ist nicht spannend. Hui. Ari, yes. I need you. Yeah, that's not a, not something you should do with a mage. I mean, you can do it, but <coughs> it's not good. Thank God. I have to learn my spells again, I guess. Um. What do we want? Another old monster, why not? Oh shit, all that stuff is gone here. Okay, what did I have? Protection for magic energy, protection for magical weapons. Two of those are probably enough. I had a Tensor's Transformation and a True Sight. Maybe another one, protection for magical energies, okay. Two Kelvin Swarding Swarding Whip. One of those and uh, I think what's that here? Sphere of Chaos. All enemies within the area must make a save versus spell every round that they maintain in the sphere. If they save if the save has failed, one of the following random effect occurs. But if they save, nothing happens. Nah, I don't want that. What is that? Okay. Give me that here, a prismic spray. And we have a mace, one of those, and a protection from energy, or an improved mantle. No, we have a protection from magical weapons, so we don't need that. Oh, it only lasts four rounds. Okay. That also lasts four rounds. A round per level, that's better. Okay. <sighs> and yeah, we had a black blade of disaster. Um, a dragon's breath, and we summon a planetar. That's cool too. An energy drain. There's no saving throw against that. Ha ha. Okay. Dang it. Let's go to that stupid thing there, to that uh, prison. Very well. 
and slay the remaining vampires. Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can can we rest now, please? So yeah, of course. I mean, the staff didn't protect from level drain. So, um that's the point. I mean, protection from evil it gives you a better saving throw, but it doesn't really protect you. It just, uh, you know, increases your chances a bit as you save against the attack, but most of the times it doesn't work. And you still get level drained. So. But, Stop. you know, with the whole party, I don't think that the vampires stand a chance. Where was it? Here. As you ask. Let's go in here. It shall be. Okay, there's a secret door. Gotcha. Oh. Really? Where did they all go? Must be watered. Oh, there's another door here. Can you? Okay. Let's I stand not say where Minsk goes. Ahead. Evil stands aside. Who died there? <coughs> You see a ghostly apparition of an emaciated old man wearing tattered rags. He tries to speak but no words come out. With a look of sorrow in his eyes he clutches his temples as if in agony, then vanishes. Okay. Good to go. What's that? Tensor's transformation. I think everybody already has that. Consider it done. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! <laughs> Okay. What is that? The skull is chipped and scratched, its surface scored with numerous tooth marks. Jump on my sword while you can, evil! I won't be as gentle! Okay. You couldn't open right that you one, are. could you? Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere! Rejoice! <laughs> Live by the sword. Live a good long time. A bet. Looks like we got them. Where did they go to? What is that? A gauzeous form. That's uninteresting. <coughs> Why 
Once again, the ghostly apparition of an old beggar manifests itself before you. He traces the spectral fingers around his neck as if trying to pantomime putting on a necklace. He points to the doors of the nearby cells, then vanishes once more. Okay. Get in here. Hmm? Fine. I I won't let my friends be hurt. Whatever. Yep. All right, all right. We can't open that. Where's Ari? This is not a place to be separated Faster from the rest of the party. Pause. You, you know point, that. I punch. Stand back for justice. For the fallen. Yeah. Okay. In the corner of the room is a shallow grave which has been defiled. Within is a human skeleton, though the skull is missing. I await your word. Rusted amulet. This tarnished trinket is of little value. Inscribed on the back are the words, My love, I implore you to keep this pendant near you forever, even unto death and beyond. I have the feeling that we have to put the skull and the necklace in here. <coughs> the spirit of the long forgotten prison materializes beside his defiled graveside. He points at the once blessed ground with imploring eyes before vanishing once more. If you had some Elven Holy Water, you could sanctify the defiled grave. As chance would have it, we have the, such items somewhere. <coughs> you sprinkle a few drops of Elven Holy Water on the grave, the spirit appears once more though its expression is now of peace rather than anguish. It motions that it wants you to follow it. Please take the party with you, Haywood. Please take the party with you. We get 10,000 quest experience. No problem at all. There is a problem, actually. It's called a vampire. It's in it there. It shall be. But we slay it. Great fun! <laughs> right, boo? Hello. Will you please attack the critter? Thanks. See battle, boo? Run, boo, run! So, you again you go in here and look for traps. One, two, three, four, five. What's that? Bronze Eune Stone. Memorize a bonus seventh level spell when equipped. Woohoo! Mm. A seventh. We already have seven of those. A uh, four or five of what? Five of those. It's something for you or you. What do you have here? Armor class bonus plus one. And you have that, and you take that off. And use that instead. Ta da! You get a new spell. How about you take. What does that do? I have enough dispelling shit. Prismic spray. Oh, 
Okay. Well, that's good. Take that. Okay. So the exit was here. And there was a door here. Consider it done. I still wonder whether all those vampires actually flee to a special spot or... Yeah, hey, but you're the last one. How come? Because you don't have boots of speed. <laughs> I remember a time when you were the fastest of the whole bunch. Oh. Make way, villainy! Hero coming through! What? What? A fledgling vampire. Nature's servant awaits. Fledge on this. I, I won't let my friends be hurt. Did I check that? I will do my best. Yes, sir. Okay, so we form up here and call it the video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.